Okay, so our website is really starting to come together now. What I want to do, I want to change the website title here. You see right now it's saying custom theme. So the code we just added over here, if we go to our footer code over in footer.php, let's talk about what this is doing. Basically, we pulled from the 2016 theme and we're saying, okay, let's echo out in PHP the blog name. Okay, so by using this function here, this special function, blog info name, it's going to pull out the name of our website, and it turned it into an anchor tag because we have these HTML anchor tags. And in here, this href is set equal to some PHP code as well. This translates into our blog's home page. Okay, so this home URL, that's going to translate into our home page. And this escape URL, this is a safety feature. You want to do this and kind of learn from this. This is a safety feature so that our site doesn't get hacked so easily. So similar thing is happening here. They're linking to WordPress and they're filling that link with the text proudly powered by WordPress. Okay, so let's go over here. And... So custom theme, first of all, that's the site name. Well, where is that coming from? If we go to our admin section and we go to settings, you'll see this is where the site name is coming from. So we can just change this to whatever we want. We can just say custom site or whatever you want. You'll notice it changed up here and it should also change on the front end in the footer. So if I hit save changes now, then I go over here and refresh. There, now it's saying custom site down there. So our site name will show, you could put your brand name or whatever you want in there. And then over here, this link is just pulling, like I said, from right here. And we can kind of leave that there, or you can delete it if you don't want that there. That's up to you. And what I'm also going to do now is kind of clean up a few things. So in our style sheet over here, we should go ahead and clean that up. So that's style.css. Make sure you're pulling from your own directory here, custom theme, not any of the other default theme directories. So that style sheet, we can clean it up a little bit. And what I really mean is just adding comments. You want to be adding comments a lot. So over here, we're going to say something like this, navigation, styles. And then I'll copy that and I'll go and I'm do, adding that right below this kind of gradient background style that we created. So I added navigation styles here and then I'll say right here we'll just say kind of like end navigation styles so that we know all the code inside of there is for our navigation menu. And then right here we'll just also add a comment saying footer styles. You could say footer code or footer CSS, whatever you want to say, and then we'll just say end footer styles right there. We'll space that out just a little bit more. So now we have this stuff kind of labeled so that if we come back to this, we know what that code is for. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is go over to functions.php, and I'm going to show you a really important technique here where when you create these custom functions, you want to make sure that you namespace them. And namespacing is just a way of avoiding conflicts with other you know, plugins or other developers who have written the same name of a function. And so we can namespace pretty easily like this. And I'll just demonstrate one so that you can kind of learn from it for now. And you can apply it to as many of these as you want. So. Let's say we wanted to make sure this was namespaced. The way we would do it is like this. We'd add an if statement and say exclamation point and then function exists. And in there, the name of the function that we're kind of coming up with, which is custom underscore shortcode. And then let's kind of clean that up. Add a colon right there. And then 
at the bottom of this, we need to end that if statement. We can end it like that, end if. Okay, and let's go ahead and put this on the other side of the if statement, just like that. Okay, so by doing this right here, and I'll kind of tab this stuff inward so you can see it. So you can select it and hit tab. We're basically saying, okay, we're going to make sure that a function with this name doesn't already exist. Okay, so you can do this with all of your custom functions where you kind of, you know, came up with your own names for these functions. And pretty much all of these we did. So it's a good practice to kind of wrap your functions in an if statement like that. Make sure you have that exclamation point in there. So I'm going to save all of that. I'm just going to go over here and refresh, make sure everything is still working, and it is. So that's good. So there we go. We've cleaned up our style sheet. We've also added some safety precautions over here into our functions file.